Hey everyone, Shoestring here. I am in one of my food storage areas. And besides food, I keep some other items here. Actually, a lot of other items. And I'm reorganizing it. Have it pretty much taken apart. I wanted to give everyone a quick view of this, since some people are interested. A lot of the items I have here, almost all the items I have here, as you can see from the masses of toilet paper up there in this little area. I buy things for prepping, as you know, on a shoestring. So I go to places like the dollar store, which is where some of this toilet paper and other things came from. And each time I go to pick up things, I set something back. Sometimes I use things... I buy things I'm going to use, and sometimes I buy things that I'm simply going to put away to use for later. And you just take it. A little bit of cat food. Like I said, I'm reorganizing. It's a little bit of a mess, but to give you an idea. Meds for the cat. It's right there. Lots of trash bags I have in other places, but this is just a shelf where I keep some of it. Smooth the cat food. What do we have? We have some coffee. You can't go through the apocalypse without coffee, folks. It isn't going to work. So, you have to have some. I also have a lot of dishwashing detergent. Just inexpensive. One or two that you pick up and set to the side. I have a special place I keep all my medical supplies, by the way. But just when you pick something up and you bring it home, right? You get some hand sanitizers. Just go to the store, pick up things you normally do, bring it back, and put it on the shelf. Especially things that aren't going to go bad. There are some more dollar store and toilet paper. And you don't have to use this if it's not the kind you use. Pick it up. One, maybe two, every time you go to the store, and you can use it for bartering. You'll be surprised when the toilet paper runs out, when trouble happens, what people will trade for that. So, oh, and here, what do we have here? Oh, we have some jugs that's used for a life straw, portable water. Got two of those, one for me and one for... Uh, Miss Shoestring, right? I take care of everybody. Anyway, I'm going to reorganize this here. I have lots of food. Not all of it. Not even close. Since I'm retired from the military, I can go to the PX and BX. So I can get MREs fairly inexpensively. So I picked those up. Not sure I'd do that if I wasn't. Anyway. It gives you an idea of how one little storage area is kept. Mine. This is one of the easiest to reach areas I have. Pull down one of the boxes and open it. Now, I keep dates on a lot of the boxes, so I know what's in it and what has to be you know, exchange. Things don't always last forever. So in here we have some coffee creamer. Can't have coffee without the creamer, right? Soap. You're going to need some of that. And then some little things that last for a while. Sardines, which are great. Little cans of food. What is this? This is chunky light tuna. Spam. I have lots of spam and spam like all over the place. And I actually have a complete inventory. This looks like a mess, but it really isn't. Shaving creams. Just different things in this box. And all my boxes are like that. Most of them are labeled with generally what's in it. That's vegetables and rice. More veggies, right? That has canned fruit. You can't really see it, but I have it coated with the dates different type of entrees, pilot, brad. You label yours the way you want to. Just in this one little area, I probably have enough food to last me and my family 
extended family too. Because you know once trouble happens, everyone will be coming running here, right? Okay, so probably enough to last about eight months, maybe a year. This isn't everything I have, but it's just one storage area. I'm about to reorganize it. See some Romulan noodles up there? I know it's ramen noodles, but the kids used to call it Romulan noodles because they watched Star Trek, and I just toss it out there. Anyway, different things I have in here. Uh, give you a quick view. And then once I get everything reorganized, if it looks really nice, and I think it's good enough to be put on a video, I'll do it for you. But this shows you, you don't need a lot of money to go out and start prepping on a shoestring, right? Pick every time you go to the store, the dollar store, Dollar Tree, Walmart, wherever you go, Publix, whatever you pick up for yourself, pick up one or two extra ones just to put it away and shove it into corners. Later, if people look like interested, I'll show you how I keep all my medical supplies, which is what the hand sanitizer is normally in and how I keep track of it all. Anyway, just wanted to give you a general idea of what it looks like in here. Of course, if you like videos such as this, please subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to do more, many more of these on how to be prepared simply on a shoestring. And, and I would like you also, please, to comment. Comments give me great ideas on more videos to do. The last several videos I've done is because someone several people went down the comments and asked a question or simply made a comment that I, I got an idea from. So please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you know someone that would like these videos, please share it with them. And then, of course, like and comment. As always, I appreciate you watching. Shoestring out.